What's up, guys? Um, this is a... We're going to talk about some memorabilia today. Um, I know a lot of people don't really collect stuff like this, um, but I think some metalheads probably do. Um, we tend to be... Some of us tend to be kind of collectors by nature, whether it's getting a color variant of every... Uh, um, every uh, couple of these comes out with different color variants, different formats. Um, we tend to want to, for a release we really love, um, we want every uh, format. So I'm going to talk about <clears throat> some of that today. Uh, first, um, we're going to talk about another beer. Um, this is from Founders. Uh, this is uh, Founders, I believe, out of Michigan. Maybe Michigan or Chicago. Can't remember. Uh, I think it's Michigan, though. Um, this is a barrel-aged beer. Uh, this is a KBS, but it's a variant. You can see that. Maple. Uh, that If you aren't from the area, you probably think that's Mackinac, but it's actually Mackinac. Uh, fudge. They have, uh, if you've never been to Mackinac Island, uh, I've been there once. They have some fudge there that is delicious. Uh, so this beer is brewed with uh, that fudge, coffee, uh, maple syrup, and chocolate and aged in oak bourbon barrels. It is delicious if you can find it. If you're not in the Midwest, I don't know if you can get this beer. Uh, I don't know how far these Founders variants uh, go, but it's good beer. So uh, if you can get it, check it out. I'll turn my phone down because uh, I think the Bears are on the way to winning, so I'm sure my phone's blowing up. Um, so I'm going to talk about some memorabilia today I have. This is not everything. Um, this is just a start. I'm might keep some of this stuff. I might sell it. I don't really know um, if you're interested in any of this stuff. Do let me know. Um, first up is uh, this is more. We're we'll talk about a couple country things that I have, um, and then we're going to get into some some other stuff. Um, this is an autographed poster that uh, I went to see this show in Springfield, Illinois. Oh. Many years ago, uh, this is um, an autographed poster of Robbie Folks and Elizabeth Cook. Um, Robbie Folks' autograph is right there. Elizabeth is down there. I mean, you might know, you probably, if you're not in country circles, you may not have heard of Robbie Folks. Elizabeth Cook um, was touring on her first album. I believe it's called It Takes Balls to Be a Woman. Uh, kind of a catchy title, but this is before she blew up. Um, she now has a show on Sirius XM. Um, she was on Dave Letterman a lot after I saw her. Um, she went through some hard times where she lost a lot of family members. Um, she struggled with alcoholism um, some other stuff. But she writes some, some great, great country songs. As does Robbie Folks. He doesn't get enough praise. Um, I believe he's from the Chicago area. Uh, he writes a lot of songs about Chicago and, and Illinois. But um, we went to see the show, my wife and I, and they had a drawing for this poster. And she got a call or an email or something, I think, in a week after the show. said, hey, you want an autograph poster? Um, so I got it framed, and here it is. I'll probably hang on to this, obviously. Um, I don't know that this would generate a lot of um, attention or interest, uh, which is kind of a cool thing to have. Um, and I have it uh, hanging up in my wall here. Um, the other country thing, sorry, it keeps falling over, um, that I will never sell. Uh, this is a book called Country Music to Masters. Uh, this is by Marty Stewart. Um, I believe I've talked about Marty on my channel before, but this is a book uh, of photography that Marty himself has actually taken a lot of these pictures and uh, put them all in this huge... Uh, book, as you can see here, that's, uh, if you don't know who that is on the cover, um, you can just probably uh, shut off the video now, that was Johnny Cash, um, but I saw Marty Stewart not too long ago, well, I shouldn't say not too long, it was years ago, um, where he, there's only 500 of these books in print, um, and he had already signed it on the inside, right here. Um, and then when he, when we saw it in person, um, he signed it himself again to, to us. Um, so that was really cool. But this book is all uh, black and white. 
Marty Stewart's been in the country in country circles uh, for many, many years. So there's a lot of black and white photos in here. Um, some of it, um, I don't think he has much, much text in it, but some of the photos have a little bit of text. Sorry, this book's so thick, it's hard to keep up with down here. You can see some text um, where he'll talk about the artist, where he was, um, the year. Um, it's just a great, great picture book. Um, I go through it every once in a while. Um, he has little pictures of like people's boots and guitars and um, it's just a, a fun book to go through every once in a while. Sometimes there'll be a, an artist in here I had not heard of. Um, so I'll go check them out. You know, it has a little part here about Bakersfield. So shout out to Dwight Yoakum and Buck Owens. Uh, so it's just a great book. I love, I have it displayed behind me. I've probably seen it in some of my videos. Um, but yeah, this is a, a book I treasure. Um, there's only 500 of them. I don't know if he's signed them all, but <clears throat> this one was uh, personally signed to uh, my wife and I. So it's a, a fun book uh, to go through. Um, next up is something I won. I think I won this. Um, Decibel Magazine used to have a message board um, a long time ago. Um, and there were a few of us on there <coughs> that um, used to talk about music um, quite a bit on there to me. Albums and who sucks, who doesn't. But I won, I think. There was a guy named Mark Evans who used to kind of be their customer service representative and he would have a contest every once in a while on the message board like, hey, whoever guesses closest to my birthday wins, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I think I guessed closest to his birthday to win this. Um, but this is an actual copy of Decibel. I don't know what issue, which number it is, but it's April of 2006. Um, and it's got Corpse Grinders autograph from um, Camp Corpse, obviously. Um, George Corpse Grinder autographed it. I won it, and um, they sent it my way. Um, I'm a huge Camp Corpse fan. Probably one of the first death metal bands I ever got into. Um, it's just a cool looking cover. I've always liked that cover with him with the axe. I don't know why they didn't put the whole band on the cover, though. I don't know if bands get butt hurt by that. Um, but he's, he is not the only member of Campbell Corps. Um, but yeah, it's a cool thing that hangs on my wall uh, as well. So I enjoy having this in my collection as well. I get to look at it every day. So um, The next couple pieces are... <clears throat> um, one of them is probably fairly sought after. Um, the others, maybe not much, but... Um, I've been in touch with um, Merle Allen, um, brother of Gigi Allen, over the years. Um, I, my, I put out a Gigi Allen tribute album many years ago, um, talking, oh gosh, 20 years ago maybe? I don't have a copy anymore. Um, it was called Fuck Authority, a tribute to Gigi Allen. But I got his permission before I put it out to make sure he was cool with it. Um, <clears throat> I never... You know, I had, didn't have a label at the time. It was just something I thought would be cool to, to do. And I had a CD burner at home, and I had a uh, printer to make the booklets. I went to Kinko's, made copies, etc. It was it was fun. It was a fun process. But um, what I have is um, from the claims division uh, from the city of Austin. You can see back on Austin, the friendly city. Uh, this is a letter to Kevin Allen, um, to his address in New York. I actually think it might have been Merle's Allen, but it's basically from the city of Austin. It's an unpaid, um, it's a letter that went to G.G. Allen saying he owed the city of Austin uh, for emergency medical procedure for $143, um, saying he had to pay uh, the bill call and, and make payments or whatever, but this is a, an actual bill that was sent to GG uh, that I have my collection and Myrtle also sent. Um, if you don't know, that's GG on the Murder Junkies, GG there with the, um, the red beard, that's Merle. 
Uh, and on the back, he um, autographed it, talking about the authenticity of it. Um, he said, um, it's a claim division notice to Gigi that was sent to his old address when he lived in New York City. So that's Merle's address in the early 90s. Gigi never did pay the bill. Big shocker there. So uh, that's kind of a cool thing I just have. I don't fly. I don't know. I don't pay the bill. But it's just kind of a cool piece of pop rock history. Um, and with that, I also have a copy of this 7-inch. Um, this is Gigi Allen and the Scumfucks 7-inch. Um, this is um, I Want to Fuck Your Brains Out, Teacher's Pet, Devil's Prayer, and I'm Gonna Rape You. Um, it looks like on this particular release, um, there's the back. Um, Gigi Allen is on it. Uh, Ali Slime on bass. Lucas McCain on guitar and Tim Toms on drums. Uh, he thanks Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, Beer Drugs, Chicks, and Destroy Till You Die. But um, this particular 7-inch um, that I have is autographed by Gigi Allen on the front. Um, I got this from... Let's see, this is on Blood Records, by the way, Gigi Allen and Scumfucks. Um, this is actually kind of a somewhat sought after 7 inch according to discogs and shit at least as far as rarity and price goes um i got this from a somewhat local guy named bloody mess um he is from the peoria area he had a band called bloody mess and the scabs um he spent a lot of time with gg allen anytime gg allen would come through um, central illinois um he would stay with Bloody Mess. Um, <clears throat> played shows with them. There was an album that Gigi put out. I don't remember the name of it. Bloody Mess did like the foreword in the CD book or whatever. Uh, but I have, um, I still have the email from, from eBay uh, from Bloody. Uh, basically saying uh, he saw Gigi sign this record um, in 1987. So this going back way back when he was hanging out and recording 7-inch. Um, so, you know, the record still plays fine, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I have that as the, uh, it's not really a certificate of authenticity, so to speak, but um, it is proof that I bought it from someone that said they saw Gigi sign this. Um, so Gigi Allen autographs are obviously not that prevalent because he is dead, has been dead for a long time. Um, but the 7-inch is, is pretty hard to come by, too, and it's very, very, um, I hate even to take it out of this thing, it's beat, beat to all hell, um, but that's the, uh, the outside, uh, the inside, well, I guess I'll show it to you, why not, it's G.G. Allen in various stages of drug use and holding his, um, you know what, down there, so, um, yeah, it's something I've had for, for many years, I'm happy to have in my collection. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Um, I'm just kind of at that stage in life where it's just another thing I have to dust from time to time. So I might get rid of this, I don't know, but um, I'd have kind of um, I was in a punk band for a little bit but Bloody Mess saw us play once and he gave me his card and I said, hey, you guys do G.J. Allen. Um, I'm a huge G.J. Allen fan, me not knowing he actually spent time with Gigi. Um, he did a radio show <clears throat> for a local channel that we, uh, my band, was on um, for one period of time. We played a few songs. That was kind of fun. Never been on the radio before. So, yeah, might get rid of the stuff. I don't know. But um, this is just a, a small piece of my uh, collection. Um, but I'm, I'm going to show some other stuff off um, in the very near future. One piece I have that's extremely sought after. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it. I will probably get rid of it, but um, I'll just say it has to do with the man of death. I believe it at that. So, uh, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Hope you're having a, a good one. Stay safe out there. Uh, if you like this video, please like it down below, subscribe. Um, if you remember, I'm trying to get to, to a thousand subscribers, which for some probably doesn't seem like much, but by the end of next year, I'd like to get to a thousand. So, let's see if we'll make that happen. So, share it. Like it, etc. Thanks for checking it out. Have a good one. Later.